ξέρω πόλο μαλαιάτας. Χρυσής will find a lot more than a helpless infant waiting for her. A warning. Must be getting close. This will die here. seems to run in your bloodline, almighty oh eagle bearer. Don't you dare speak of my family, snake. I still remember the night your mother brought me my child. The sad, pathetic thing, crying in the rain. Had I known then that Mirini had two children. But here you are. My family is complete. You speak of family, yet you sent cult puppets to silence your own son. They're dead, by the way. Dolop ceased being my son when he turned his back on the gods. You mean turned his back on you? The baby was destined to be mine. He was too stupid to understand that. You let my mother believe her baby was dead. But he was. Oh, how she wept when his little heart stopped beating. But then I took care of him, placed him on this very altar, Scream for the gods to spare his life, and they listened. What did you do with my brother? I saved his life by teaching him to suffer, to know pain so well that he would learn to welcome it like an old friend. And now he will teach all of the Greek world to know that pain. You tortured him? He was just a baby! I taught him to survive. This world is cruel. It demands strength or death. So I gave him strength. Where did my mother go that night? That weakling crawled to the hills of Corinth. The monger was supposed to deliver her back to me. But she can't hide forever. She will give us more children. I'll run my spear through your throat for the pain you've caused. <laughs> this world is pain. I gave the most strength to cope. Your mother was a weakling who whined to the gods like a pig on an altar. I am more a mother to her child than she will ever be. I can be a mother to you too, Eagle Bearer. This goes beyond my family. You and your cult are going to destroy the Greek world. You bring nothing but suffering. You talk of suffering, and yet you come drenched in blood and threaten my life. You are a killer, just like your brother. Here, let me show you. This baby is yours? She was dying. 
Chrysis had me bring a gift to Ira so that he might be protected. Chrysis lit the temple on fire with the boy and me inside. Chrysis is a servant of Ira. She does what needs to be done. What needs to be done? She left your baby to burn alive. And you saved him. Gods bless you, Eagle Bearer. Sleep now, sweet child. Mater is here. I'm not sure saving that baby was the right thing to do. Chrysis's reign of terror must end. If what Chrysis said was true, Merini believes my brother died long ago. I should have enough information now. I should head back to Athens to see Aspasia. I can't let Chrysis walk free. I'll kill that Malaga. You're back. Got to run, sorry. Wait, where? I'll be right back. See you at Aspasias. Sometimes I think you are too much like me. Friends, I know you're angry. And you have the right to be used of Why do they hide in their houses and not quell the chaos that comes for them? Under... Cassandra, it's good to have you back. I've never seen anything like this. Those who aren't killed by the plague run wild in the streets. Death is rampant, and it's only a warning. We have ignored what truly plagues us for too long. Cleon. How can you worry about him at a time like this? Ah, under his reign, Athens will lose the freedom and glory that has put it on the world stage. It is time to turn my words into actions. How? You will find out as soon as I do. I didn't expect to see you. What do you think you're doing? You're driving this mob to madness. This, this is nothing. I will make Athens great again. Athens' name was once held high in the world. As 
Vasia. Oh, Cassandra. You returned to Athens. What's left of Athens? The world we've built is crumbling at our feet. It's as loud as a battlefield out there, and as violent. They're calling for Pericles' head, as though he should know how to handle this catastrophe. No one is prepared for the end of the world. I came to talk to you. I found out some things about my mother. Her name, her ship... Cassandra, it's not the time. Pericles is dying. He won't see me. He won't let Hippocrates in his room. He only babbles about going to his precious Parthenon. Pericles is a strong man. I'm sure he can fight the sickness. You heard the mob. He can't defend himself. He'll die with no glory. Athens has known him a lot longer than they've known this plague. He gave them a voice. His accomplishments will speak for him. <sighs> Pericles needs treatment, and the gods know he won't let me in. He respects you. Could you go to him? I could try. If you do, I will make the time to talk about your mother. For now, he needs your help. It's worth a shot. Aspasia, my light. I told you. It's Cassandra. Yes. Come in. It's embarrassing. Someone so strong seeing me like this. I admit, you don't quite look yourself. I don't feel like myself either. I brought your drugs. Ah, yes. It's usually Phoebe who does the delivering. At least I'm alive. Though I can't say the same for my city. It's a shadow of what it was. Well, it will belong to Cleon now. He will have to lift it out of its sorry state. <sighs> <sighs> I wish to see it with my own eyes. Come to the balcony. Much has changed. I can't even stand up straight to look death in the eye. You'll recover sooner if you let Hippocrates see you. It's my time. The plague chooses is no favorites. I fear I've failed Athens. Its people... Aspasia? No, you haven't. Ah, you're kind, but I've lost. Aspasia needs protection, as does Athens. I thought I gave enough to Athena, but it seems it isn't so. I should be out there, on the streets. You'd be overtaken. There are mobs, and Cleon's doing nothing to calm them. Thank the gods, Cleon won't see me like this. But that's all I can thank the gods for. They've turned on me. The gods definitely are in Athens. I hardly recognize it here. It's like the Tartarus. Athens' fate is decreed. All we can do now is wait. You should go back inside. You need to rest. Where I should be is in the Parthenon, my greatest legacy to Athens. We need the gods' blessing. But Aspasia... Aspasia's right. She often is. But not about this. Yes. I'll go inside. Thank you, Cassandra. Tell my Aspasia I was a good boy and took my drugs. I will. <sighs> Pericles let me in. He took his drugs without complaint. Thank you. Something wrong? I expected Phoebe back by now. I saw her in the crowds outside. Did you send her somewhere? I had her go to Anastasios to see about a ferry. As soon as Pericles is strong enough, we're leaving Athens. We have to. But now she's missing. I'm sure she's all right. Did Pericles tell you what I said about the cult in Athens? This cult? I thought it was his sickness speaking for him. It's true. But Phoebe's smart. She knows the way back. I hope so. I'm going to look for her. Where is Anastasios' house? It's across from the Odeon of Pericles. Here.
This looks like the place. By the gods! What happened here? I'm glad Phoebe wasn't here. Hopefully she's safe. This was savage. Done to send a message. Demos must be carrying through on his threat. Mother of all, I greet you. Cassandra! Are you all right? I need to speak to Aspasia. We must find Pericles first. He's missing. I don't fucking care! Tell me where Aspasia is! Cassandra! I'm sorry, Phoebe. Aspasia went to find Pericles at the Parthenon. She should be there. I think we'd better go with her. I agree, my friend, I agree. There you are, Cassandra. Quickly, Pericles may be inside. What's gotten into you? Phoebe was killed by cult guards before I could get to her. Oh, no. 
Dear Phoebe, she died alone in the street. No, you found her. She wasn't alone. I know how much of a friend she was to you. I won't let them get away with this. You have to fight for her. Aspasia, you're here. Any sign of Pericles? If he's here, he's inside praying. He refused to stay safe in the villa. Things have gotten even worse in the Agora. It's madness. Speak later and act now, Pericles. Go! All is lost now. He was a great man. Perhaps greater than we even knew. We need to get her out of Athens. We'll take my ship. We have to leave. Don't let him die in vain. Never. We have to move quickly. Stay close, just in case. Stop! Cleon has ordered that no one leave Athens. And he wants Aspasia brought to him. I'm not going. Leave! Don't let them go! You die here! Hey, get away! Now, let's go. 
We're going to stay, Cassandra. What? Why? My work is here. I can't leave the Athenians in the state they're in. You don't need us to protect Aspasia. Leave Athens to us. You saw what happened to Pericles. You want the same to happen to you? If every dissenting voice disappears, the people won't turn against him. They need me here. You're sure? I have lived as an Athenian, and I will die as an Athenian. Then do something for me, both of you. Of course. Retrieve Phoebe's body. Give her a proper burial. Everything she deserves, and more. Thank you. Time to go, Cassandra. And I expect to see you both again, alive. The farther we get from Athens, the quieter it grows. As though it's peaceful. But I know better. I'm sorry, Aspasia. About Pericles. And Athens. You have no need to apologize. For anything. It feels like... I let everyone down. I didn't get to them quick enough. I didn't make the right decisions. It's not your fault. There's no one to blame but the cult of Cosmos. I'll make each of them beg for mercy before I kill them. That time will come. For now, let us look to the future. Do you have a heading? I was hoping you would help me with that. Yes, of course. This woman. Phinecas. Her ship was called Siren Song. Phinecas. Yes, I know the name. Last anyone heard, her ship was docked on the island of Naxos. <sighs> then we go to Naxos to see Phinecas. More than made up for killing my abductors, Mistyos. Thank you. Try to stay out of trouble, all right? I'll consider it. Put my coins to good use and wish me luck. Good luck. <gasps> Artemis of the wild land, mistress of animals.
You'll find Phoenicus in the villa at the center of town. All the city's business is conducted there. Then, that's my next stop. Have you thought about what you'll say to her? I have questions about my past. My mother has answers she kept from me that I need. About your family? There are secrets. Someone important told me she would be able to help me understand. You should be cautious. What do you mean? Think about your questions carefully. What we know about our past can shape our future. We'll reach Naxos soon. We've had quite the adventure. Yes, although I don't think it's over yet. Where will you go? I have some business to attend to before moving on, and I have friends in the city I need to see. I doubt there's a speck of land in the Aegean where you don't know someone. You might be right. It comes with a profession, I suppose. And who knows, maybe I'll see you again. It doesn't seem that big of an island. Anything's possible. I'd like to know if all the trouble to find Phoenicus was worth it. Mm, I'd like to know, too. Wars now! Ready the line! Intimidated. Stock the barracks and double the patrols. If Paros is sending them, I want to know the moment they make landfall. Yes, Archon. But Archon, please, Cestis. the merchants have. I understand your concerns. But protecting the town and the quarries is what's most important. You may all go. Meeting is over. But I closed my eyes, I can still see you fall. I thought I had lost you. Alexius is alive. To get him back. He's too far gone. I gave up on you both once. Never again. What How have did you... you... I have a lot of questions. I think we both do. But ask. I'll answer what I can.
I want to know about my real father. How did you know? I was told. Nikolaos, you saw him? In Megaris, yes. Nikolaos was your father. He was the man who raised you. Until he took his Spartan duty too far. He mentioned another. What can you tell me about him? I always hoped you would never need to discover the truth. But there are things you need to know if we are to stop the cult. What do you mean? He sought me out before I knew your fa... Nikolaos. I've not heard from him in a long time. What's wrong? Soldiers from Paros just made landfall in the cove. A small force, maybe a dozen. Malaka. Timo, gather the troops. Questions will have to wait, Lam. I want to help. I assume you can use those weapons? Better than when you last saw me. Good. Come. Who is attacking? Paros, across the bay. It seems Silanos has finally grown tired of sharing the marble tree. Why now? We've always had problems with Paros. I expected an attack, just not so soon. I guess the time for talking is over. <laughs> Allies often forget their allegiances when opportunity beckons. Why are you working with Sparta, given all that's happened? Paros made an alliance with the Athenians, so they left me little choice. You needed support. A rivalry with Paros is one thing, but they turned it into a war. Their partnership with Athens was too much to weather for Naxos alone. There's always been a rivalry between the islands. After all, Naxos used to control Paros and Andros. They're envious of our craftsmen, too. And now? They think they deserve expansion. Their oligarch demands their wings spread wide. But we'll clip their wings before that happens. They don't know who they're up against. You remind me of Nikolaos. 
You fight just like him. Ruthless and cunning. He would be proud. I've never forgotten what you both taught me. I had a good education. I wanted you to be unstoppable. And you are. What happened to you in Argolis after that night? I found your brother and rushed to a young doctor's apprentice, Hippocrates. I thought I'd lost you. I wasn't ready to lose you both. I spoke with him recently. That night still haunts him. I was heartbroken when the healers in Asclepios told me Alexios was dead. The two of you were my whole world. But he did live. They lied to you. They must have realized he was special, and handed him over to the cult. We'll save him from the cult, Mother. We'll get him back. The cult is insidious. Once they have their claws in, they don't let go. I fear he is beyond saving. I found you, didn't I? I know we can save him. Together. I don't understand why the cult targeted our family. There are many reasons, Lam. What did we ever do to them? Now that we're reunited, it's more a question of what we could do to them. They fear us. Your ancestors have been a thorn in their side for generations. They've decided we need to be eliminated to ensure their plans come to fruition. If it's our family they fear, we'll reunite and give them a reason to be afraid. Many have tried to stop them and failed. We are not those people. Where others failed, we will succeed. I know you left Sparta, but how did you end up on this island? I couldn't stand by Nikolaos after what he did. I had to get out of Sparta. So why here? I saw an opportunity to help people, to grow something. I was elected to rule and protect this island from those who would ruin what we've built. You've done some incredible things. Naxos is lucky to have you as its leader. It's not been without its difficulties, but I'm proud of what we've achieved. It's a pity there aren't more leaders like you. Let's continue this discussion somewhere the smell of death doesn't linger. Ride with me. <sighs> the island is beautiful. It is. Sparta has nothing on Naxian beaches. Sparta. All I remember is the bottom of Mount Taietos. When I brought you to the Pythia as a baby, she never said we would leave our nightmare. She said you had such promise. The Pythia can't predict everything. Your general acted quickly, raising the alarm. Timo knows Paris is a threat. They make their business clear. They can't be more clear than sending soldiers. And there's no treaty? Maybe there was, but it's long over. Now there's no mistaking them for anything but the enemy. An enemy? I could help you defeat. We'll discuss that later. But I think you're right. Paros must be stopped. Paros must be stopped. The temple's coming along, Evandros. It will stay in ruins if we don't secure more donations. Soldiers can't get all the funds. They can if you don't want the temple destroyed by our enemy. But I'll see what I can do. It's a good deed restarting construction. Ligdamis was a great man who deserves reverence. His battles against corruption and oligarchy are lessons we all should remember. I do intend to finish the temple. Thank you, Phoenix. What a strange day it has been. But a good one. I've certainly had worse. <laughs> Me too. 
You have grown into a remarkable woman, but I see the burden you carry on your shoulders. Finding you has lessened it, I think. I'm glad, but I have wondered why the gods chose to reunite us now. I think they felt it was about time our family found each other again. If we want to be truly united, we have to find Alexios and rescue him from the cult's grasp. They are the source of all our pain, and they will cause more to many others unless we act. I put that life behind me the moment I left Sparta. I have Naxos to worry about now. Let me help you here. We can safeguard Naxos and then hunt down the cult together. Mirini! The symposium is about to start. By the gods. I'm sorry, my sweet. I forgot. Prepare the horses. I'll be out shortly. The symposium? I need to show the people their leader is strong and in control. Sometimes the face we show to the world needs to be one of strength, despite the chaos we harbor beneath. I will help you stop the cult. But before I can leave Naxos, I have to ensure it will survive without me. What do you need? Paros has to be dealt with. We need to weaken their position. Once they're vulnerable, they will make a reckless decision and we will strike. What did you have in mind? We must force the Paros fleet to engage us and destroy it. But my Admiral Aeneas is missing. His ship was sailing for Paros to engage in peace talks and he never returned. Don't worry. I'll find him. If you need me, I'll be at the symposium. Although, try to look less intimidating should you choose to pay me a visit.